Lake School News. I'm your anchor, Mandy Prescott, alongside my co-anchor, Emma Mitchell. To start off, Emma will share some important information going on in our school. Thanks, Mandy. There's a lot of happening, a lot of happenings this time of year, and Christmas Lake is just around the corner. One of the most important announcements for students today is overdue library and textbooks. Many students have yet to return their textbooks or books checked out from the library for first trimester. Teachers and our, li our, and our librarians are asking for you to return your books as soon as possible. Next, there's an informational meeting for the Spain, France, and Italy summer trip through the Spanish and French Club. The meeting is Monday, December 19th in Senora Cucha's room, 2410. To all GLHS students and staff, it's time to start thinking about glitter. 2012, can you sing or dance? Do you have a special talent that you'd like to share with everyone? Would you like to be an MC? Would you like to perform a comedy skit? If so, the 2012 Glitter Variety Show needs you. Audition sign-ups will be Tuesday, December 20th and Wednesday, December 21st during all lunch periods. Audition sign-ups will, will also be Tuesday, January 10th and Wednesday, January 11th during all lunch periods as well. Talk to your friends. Get your acts ready. Start practicing. Auditions will be held at GLHS on the following dates, January 23rd and January 24th in February 1st and 2nd from 5 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. Glitter is scheduled for March 24th at 7 p.m. at Comstock Auditorium. Mark your calendars now. It's going to be a great show. Ski Club members, Ski Club cards are in. Please see Mr. Blazer to pick them up. Reporter for Gall Lake News is Becca McDonald with Emma Mitchell, the service co-chair for Gall Lake Students. My name is Beck McBound, reporting for the Gall Lake News. I have the pleasure of being here today with Emma Mitchell, the service co-chair for Student Senate and Stephanie Clark for Pat Summers. So, Emma, how did the choice for Pat Summers here overall go? Well, overall, this year we raised over 100 toys, which is um, a little bit shy of our goal, but um, really good for our first year. So we did a really, really good job fundraising. Is this going to play on to this event next year? And if so, what do you think is this I think that it's definitely in the mix for next year, um, probably around Christmas time again. Um, we'll probably work on putting out more flyers and putting out more posters and get, getting the word out to the community and our student body so everyone knows about it. Alright, and finally, what's the next big event involving students? Um, our next event is Snowport, um, and that's probably where our main um, efforts are focused right now. We just have to get that ready and um, get that team's decorations done and um, all the preparations for that is where we're um, focusing our efforts. Thank you so much for your time. Emma's reporting for Gullick News. I'm Becca McDowell. Back to the studio. Thank you, Becca, for that insightful update on the Student Senate with Ms. Emma Mitchell, our service co-chair. The next update is coming directly from our accounting office. A financial aid scholarship information night is coming up. All juniors and seniors are invited to come and learn more about the future college plans. The event starts at 7 on January 11th in the high school gym. On a side note, any interested people in fencing <laughs> for the 2012-13 school year, please stop in the guidance office to request more information and to get a rough idea of the number of people participating. Attention all juniors and seniors. Stay on top of your scholarship and college visit opportunities. Stop in the guidance office and talk to your counselor. Also, if you're a student who needs a little extra support or homework help, talk to Ms. Stanton to see if a peer advocate or tutor is available. Seniors, many colleges and universities are requesting first trimester updates and revised transcripts. Please keep in mind that our new Pinnacle system is not 100% ready to adequately meet your requests at this time. We are hopeful that after the holiday break we will be ready to process any and all requests with an updated cumulative GPA and rank. Thank you for your patience. And now to Sarah Beatty with our weather. Thank you. This is Sarah Beatty with the Gull Lake weather. On Friday the 23rd, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 35. And on Saturday, it will also be partly cloudy with a high of 36. And on Christmas, there will be flurries and a high of 37. Monday the 26th will be mostly cloudy with a high of 31. Tuesday the 27th will be sunny with a high of 34. And on Wednesday the 28th will be partly cloudy with also a high of 34. That was Gully Weather with Sarah Beatty. Back to you. Here for that wonderful holiday forecast. Here's the news on the Gullick High School Performing Arts Company. After School Rock is temporary, temporarily suspended during the state tour show and will resume lessons mid-February. The PAC Company is preparing for their state tour show and the scheduled performers and technicians are as follows. Props team meets on Tuesdays and Fridays. A team meets Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Media meets Monday and Friday. Sound and lights meet Wednesday and Friday. 
The entire cast rehearses every day after school from 2.45 to 5.30 in the studio theater. Reporting for the God Lake News is Elise Barnes with Musician of the Week, Tyler Rice. Thanks, Simon and Mandy. This is Elise Barnes reporting for the God Lake News. I'm here with Tyler Rice for Musician of the Week. What instrument do you play? Well, I play a lot of instruments. I've been doing a lot of electronic um, electronic songs, like making a little bit of dubstep, so I've been using a lot of synthesizers, and I've been making drum patterns on a software called Ableton, so put it all together like that. Sometimes I sing, too, in the songs. That's cool. How long have you been playing? Um, well, I started playing guitar when I was eight, so I guess it started then. And I've just been playing other instruments since then. Got like a drum set and a bunch of guitars and bass, bass guitars, so it's a variety. Okay. And who is your musical inspiration? Well, there's a guy called Rob Swire that I've been inspired by lately. He's in a band called Pendulum, and he does like makes a band into like an electronic band, so it's kind of a look up to that. Well, thank you for your time. This is Elise Barnes reporting for the Gallic News. Back to thank you, Elise, for the interesting look on the Gallic music scene. Congratulations to Tyler Rice for being Musician of the Week. And now the Gallic High School's Athlete of the Week. This week's Gallic Athlete of the Week is Becca Kiss of the Varsity Competitive Cheer Team. Through hard work and persistence, Becca was able to work her way through round two by nailing her back handspring both in practice and on the mat. She also stepped in for an injured teammate and flew to perfection in round three, hitting every stunt on the mat. Her talent shined in all three rounds, helping to lead the Blue Devils to their season opener first place finish at Plantwell Invitational. Congratulations, Becca, on the great week and beginning of the season. Next, we have our Gallic School News from Athletic Department. Our current winter sports include wrestling, bowling, and basketball. All of our teams have been successful thus far in the season, providing our Class A move to be a wise athletic decision. Congratulations to both boys and girls basketball teams for their wins against Battle Creek Central on Friday. Both teams have promising records and talented players, and everything points towards a very interesting season. All Gallic High School sports teams will take a break for the holidays and play Play will be resumed after New Year. The Gallic High School Spirit Committee has been encouraging school spirit and sponsored Devil's Den t-shirts. The t-shirts are available the day before and during the games for only $25. The t-shirts are your ticket into any home winter athletic event. Also, all students are allowed to attend the Spirit Committee. Stop in Ms. Eddie's room for more information. Reporting for Gall Lake News is Kim Winchester with a student poll on holiday break activities. Thanks, Emma and Mandy. This is Elise Barnes reporting for the Gallic News, and I took a poll of what people are doing over Christmas break, and here are the results. Over winter break, I plan on visiting my family. Over Christmas break, I'm enjoying the Rochester and some part of my family. What I'm doing over winter break is nothing, because I'm grounded. Over Christmas break, I'm going to be sleeping in. Over Christmas break, I'm going to my grandma's house. Hi, my name is Beth, and over winter break, I am uh, going to be with my family, my sister, and we're going up skiing up north, if there's any snow. As of right now, there's no snow, so hopefully this, we'll get snow in the next couple of days. And just spending Christmas with my family and having a fun new year. Hope you do too. The results ended up being that 38% of people were doing nothing, 18% of people are traveling, and 44% of people are visiting their family. I want to thank everyone for your time. This is Louise Sponge reporting for the Gallic News. Back to the interesting report on the student body's holiday traditions. Reporting for Gallic News is Kim Winchester with Manny Prescott with our Car of the Week. Thanks, Emma. I'm Kim Winchester reporting for the Gallic News. Here with Manny Prescott for the Car of the Week. So, Mandy, what kind of car do you have? I drive a Pontiac G6. And how long have you had your car? I got this car during the summer, so it's fairly new for me. And what's your favorite thing about the car? I have a sticker on the back that I like for the Detroit Tigers, and it has a nice sunroof, and it has a lot of speakers. Those are all good things. Thanks for your time today, Mandy. 
Reporting for the Gall Lake News, I'm Ken Winchester. Back to you, Emma. Thanks, Ken, for reporting on our Car of the Week. We hope that everyone has a fun-filled and safe holiday break. That's from all of us here at Gall Lake School News. Happy Holidays.